All right, guys, uh, Fula coming to you with another video. Um, shout outs to the whole LDBC. So, you know, man, Jay Smith, man, if you're listening to this video, man, please think twice about what you're doing, okay? Um,. know how to like really talk about this video you know without offending people because most of the time someone gets offended by the video but I guess you know I have to offend people but anyhow um, the show basically 90 day fiance and shout out to Mui Boran 74, man. He kind of was the, um, he kind of basically was the, uh, match. Or he, he, he pretty much was the match to this stick of dynamite, you know, because of his, uh, video that he, his most recent video that he did. Now, When I look at 90 Day Fiance, and I look at the black brothers on there, the foreign black brothers most of the time, that are on there, I look at the caliber of women they choose to be with, and I say, you got to be kidding me. Now, granted, I know that Trump is making it very difficult for entrance into the United States, even if you legitimately want to come here to better your yourself in terms of education and in terms of legitimate work opportunities. I understand that you get desperate and look by any means necessary to come here. But Jay and the others who I'm going to speak about, there's other ways to do it. You know, you don't have to marry these women because I'm going to be keep it a buck with you and this comes from personal experience luckily I went from the stairs up because I had good people around me when I first came to this country long ago like maybe let's say like maybe I want to say shoot I'm in my late or in my mid 20s I should say so maybe like, I want to say like, it's just give or take, say like eight years ago or so, whatever the case may be. But I had good people in my ear and they told me, you know, do things the hard way rather than the easy way which will lead to even more hardship on your part so that's what I did you know um, I took the ladder up or I guess you can say I took the stairs up and while it was painstaking while it did make me like lose patience a lot of the time I just had to keep a calm, cool, collected demeanor. But people that I'm about to name, like Jay Smith and Michael, I think Michael's, um, I think his name is like Esonami or something. Michael Esonami. 
and also Devar Walters. I mean, the thing is, is that you guys have to realize something. And I'm talking to all three of you guys. And I'm talking to also other brothers who are considering swirling for their papers. These women, and I'm just going to be completely funky with you. I'm going to be absolutely funky with you guys. You know, and I know the truth hurts, but, you know, this shit is just, you know, it is what it is. You know, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but when you swirl with these, with these caucasoids, all they are are thirsty for dick, okay? I hate to use these words, but all they're thirsty for is big black dick, okay? They don't look at you as having a soul, all right? They look at you as someone that their mom and pops told them not to go to that they can now go to, okay? You have to ask yourself, what were they doing in Jamaica in the first place? What were they doing on a African dating site in the first place? They were looking for dick, okay? That's just the bottom line. And I'm talking from experience, you know, like, thank God I never fell into that trap, you know, no matter how many times they try to, like, suggest that they wanted it. They never got it, you know. You know, it's, it, you know, this is basically, I hate to say it, and I know it's going to sound arrogant, but this is great. This is grade A dick. Like, my dick is for African women. And whether they be from continental Africa or they be from, you know, the diaspora. It's not for, it's not for them. You know, because I know how they look at it as you know and this is proof of what I'm saying like let, let's start with the issue of Michael Isami okay Michael I don't know I think Michael was in maybe his like late 20s or something like that and basically his wife Angela like basically it's like what what can you do with that like and I've said it in previous videos like a long time ago I said why would you like subject yourself to being embarrassed like that like what can you do with that you know but I mean I'm just wondering and now it turns out and this is and this is like I mean you have to look at this these things that I'm about to talk about now what I'm looking at is what her daughter did okay let's look at what the daughter did the daughter by the name of Scotty Dean and I'm reading this on People's Magazine um, is officially behind bars after pleading guilty to multiple counts of child molestation people confirms dean is currently in custody where she is serving two years and one day of a 20-year sentence she will spend the remainder of her sentence on probation a spokesperson from georgia's jeff davis county district attorney's office tells people um, it then goes on to say that she was arrested on September 27th in Hazelhurst, Georgia on suspicion of aggravated sodomy and aggravated child molestation. She was charged with 11 counts of child molestation, one count of aggravated child molestation, and one count of statutory rape related to the incidents that that occurred between July 1st and August 
31st, 2017, according to the documents obtained by People. The crimes were against a minor under the age of 16 and involved very a variety of sexual crimes, some which were performed with other minors in the room, according to charging documents, and the charges were later reduced to three counts which deemed pled guilty to uh, in November 2018. Dean is known for appearing on multiple episodes of 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days, during which she supported her mother, Andrew Dean. The show chronicles the experience of various new couples in the process of attaining K-1 visa so that partner can move to America. So you see, you know, like, why would you want to marry into that family? Like, why would you want to marry into that family when it goes against African values? You know, like this, like, I mean, Michael, do you think if your mom found out you would, you, you were like marrying into the family that, you know, that had a daughter who did that? Do you think your mom is going to be happy about that? You know, do you think that she, she's really going to let that slide? You know, like, so, like, why would you want to marry her? Um, and here's another thing. Why, why would, why would you want to marry, um, that woman that 50 year old dust bucket woman who was already arrested for a DUI so obviously she's gonna have a drinking problem bro and if she decides to backlash it on you that'll be your ass because she'll say something like oh he touched me oh he hit me in a drunken fit and there you'll be, bro. In ICE. So just know that she's another one that just wants dick. I know you want your visa, bro, but sometimes you just gotta like take your lumps and do it the hard way, man. Now let's go to the next one. Um, you know. There was another Jamaican guy, um, you know, um, oh God. Now, um, you know, um, Okay, how can I say this? Now, Devar, Devar, you know, Devar is already in too deep. That's the problem, you know, and with Devar, what I always said to myself was that, like, if he had to, if he, if he needed to, how should I put it? If he needed to come to America or if he wanted to come to America that badly, his best bet would have been to just ask like maybe a family friend or something like that like hey is there any uh, is there any American born yardies over there that maybe I would have a chance with instead of marrying another one of these women who's just thirsty for dick you know and unfortunately like they have a kid together, you know, so now that there's kids involved, 
you know, for the sake of the kid, I would prefer him to stay with that woman than, um, than to, um, you know, divorce that woman. You know, the thing is, is this, that woman really rubbed me the wrong way because the sister, you know, divorced sister, you know, he wanted, she needed like financial help. And, you know, if you know anything about like family, especially like, you know, Caribbean family and stuff like that, like, you know, it's pretty tight knit. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, if, 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 you know, if you just, like, are in that family's ear and you don't, you don't want him to help his family, then who are you? Who are you to say where his money goes? You know, he's the husband. He's the one calling the shots. And that's the problem with these these people, you know, like all these dudes talk about, oh yeah, you know, I'm swirling. Oh yeah, you know, I'm 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 doing this, I'm doing that, you know. F F black women, you know, I find it better, you know, less attitude and stuff like that. The next story I'm about to tell you is gonna tell you something about yourself. But I mean as far as Devar, I mean it's already too late for him. He already have kids involved, so you can't really break up with her, you know, because it's like, if he breaks up with her, it's like that kid's going to suffer, man. Like, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but even though divorce is a lawful thing to do, it's not worth like doing it, you know? Because the kid is definitely going to be affected no matter what. Now, let's get on to the, the next thing. Now, I just came in kind of late. And... <sighs> now Jay is talking about getting back with this woman. After all the hell that she's put him through and jay all i gotta say bro is forget that woman okay you have a skill you can do tattoos if you can prove that you have a space or you have a legitimate like business you can get a worker's permit or something like that. And then that can turn into something else, okay? If you must, if, if you're thinking about becoming a citizen. If I were you, I would just get a social security card if you can, get a worker's permit, and if you can, also get a um a green card now you know no disrespect jay but i mean you're 20 years old bro and this woman is like 12 years older than you but she looks like she's 22 years older than you you know Again, she's thirsty for dick, okay? And what her, what your si what Jay's sister had to say about this whole thing is very, very crazy. And it sucks that, you know, I think because she was spilling and giving the receipts that the trolls actually had her Instagram shut down. But this is what she said, okay? This is what she said, basically. All right. I'm going to look for the things that I'm, I'm going to look for everything that the sister said about, you know, about. 
about the um, about the whole thing. All right, let me see. Now, now let, let's see what she said. So, you know, Jay got caught cheating, but, but what people don't know is that, you know, his, his wife or his wife to be, you know, unfortunately, Ashley called up, um, called her Jay's sister and said that the show set up that barbershop scene, basically. And she also said that Jay fell right into the trap, you know? And she also said that they didn't care because they got their $500. And Jay said to Ashley, you don't know why I did it. And then, um, you know, the sister, however, has said that, you know, Ashley has cheated on, um, had, has cheated on Jay many of times, you know, um, now let's take it a step further too. Now, Ashley's mom basically said that, um, that, you know, that she pawned her engagement ring in Jamaica and to take a take it a step further you know Jay's sister says she used the broke Guinness bottle uh, to cut herself on both sides of her face and that she was saying that she can claim that she was robbed you know and you know at the end of the day you know Also, um, you know, the sister carries my same motion, you know, because, you know, Jay told, told Ashley that she, that he was 20 years old, right? And, you know, the sister has said that she didn't care and just all she wanted was black dick. You know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of allegations against, uh, you know, this Ashley character, um, you know, and her friend, John Yates, I think is probably someone she cheated with, you know, and, you know, with all these things being said about you know, uh, about, you know, <sighs> about Ashley, I, I just don't get why he would want to stay with her, you know, why, why would he, why would, like, you stay with someone like that, you know, who's a conniving, pretty much evil woman, you know, like, like, I mean, you can do so much better, you know, you, you can do, um, and then here, here's the thing too, she, at, at the time she was going to Delaware to, um, 
to to have sex with the old man for a thousand dollars and the old man had a wife you know and then to take it a step further you know she she tried to she she tried to make him be okay with it you know that's the thing you know um it's crazy you know I i'm just being real with you like this whole thing is like I mean, I'm pretty sure some of it is staged, but like, why would you want to be with someone like this? You know, um, I mean, the sister even said her twat is smelly, you know, and that she was in, um, you know, uh, she, she really did some, uh, dirt out on her telling her to bring medication from Jamaica for whatever your sugar daddy gave you to make your uh, dirty pussy smelly so you know of course they're gonna block her Instagram account with these kind of truths you know um, you know and I feel bad for Jay because he's so young you know um You know, I mean, it sucks because, like, now, um, now it's like, you know, you have this little kid, you know, because at the end, you know, Jay's a kid, you know what I mean? Like, so, like... To take it a step further, um, she was not sick in the hospital. She was get she had she was getting a tummy tuck. Uh, she used money to get a tummy tuck. You know, that's what she did. You know, I mean, she decided to not work out. You know. Um, the sister is really dishing some tea, you know, and I'm just going to end this video real quick and then I'm going to just wrap it up. But let me tell you what she said. She said, Ashley, why don't you, let me see. She said, Ashley, why don't you tell the people what you did with the GoFundMe money? that you said was for dial dialysis, bitch. Have you guys noticed her flat belly and small waist? Yes. Yes, she took that money and went to go get a tummy tuck. Have my brother changing her tubes and doing shit for her that a husband should do, all because you wanted to have a flat belly. But what you need really was a new pussy. I second that notion. The same woman that faked her own death and her mom helped her leaked her own rape story and blamed someone else and lied about being in the hospital for her lupus so much times. And yes, she really does have lupus, but it doesn't act up as much as she said it does. Do you think she will be drinking like that if it does? They are reporting my posts hard, but I will repost them. Even when this page gets shut down, I will wait and still post the truth. You lying son of a... So, Mike, I mean... At the end of the day... Reminder of my, for myself as well to stand on my squares. Usually, I would say about a good 75% of swirling involves a woman fetishizing for your dick and your body and not fetishizing 
for your intellect, for your spiritual prowess, for your your philosophical type of things. Okay? That's what it really involves at the end of the day. So, I mean, I'm not saying not to swirl. But what I'm saying is that what what swirling really entails, and it goes for the women as well, too, you know, because there was one 90 day fiance when this guy pretty much I considered him a predator. Um, He went to Haiti and I think like he met like these young women and stuff like that, very young women. And I don't think he wanted them to go to school or something like that. He didn't he didn't believe that they were even capable, man, of going to school and excelling in school. You know, so I mean, th- this show furthermore helps in the agenda. You know, that's putting, being pushed down our throats when you look at the commercials and you look at all those things. But, you know, it's our job to kind of just be aware of these things, man. And just kind of, you know, really, really just focus, man. Focus on in. Tap into the real, you know. And no, I'm not like, I'm not just saying like this to say, oh, black love and things like that. But I'm just saying it's way more easier. It's way more smoother it's way more in harmony to date and marry someone from your own group. You know, it's it's just an easier thing to do. And I'll give you an example. Like at the the past weekend when I was at the Cape Verdean Independence uh, Day picnic and helping uh, the homegirl like... Uh, clean up and stuff like that it was just easy it was just like teamwork you know teamwork made the dream work and it was just nice and smooth and you know on a on a spiritual wavelength I felt it too and you know at the end of the day man I think honestly like someone from your own from your background they're gonna try to help you get that bag like you guys are gonna get the bag together you know, if if she a real one, if she a real, real one, you guys are going to get that bag together, bro. But no, if you, I'm telling you, if you swirl, these women will grab you by the throat and say, well, I did this, I did that. And that's the problem, man, with Jay is that that nigga was under her mercy because he didn't have a house himself. And he didn't have, like, the means to, like, just really set something up for himself. But if she was a real one, she would put him in position to, that they would both get the bag together. And that he would, like, have his credit bind up and stuff like that. But she's not a real one. You can see what she care about. She she care about only, you know, she definitely don't care about no J. She care about Jay Dick, but not Jay. But anyhow, man, that's all I got for now, man. I just wanted to, um, you know, basically get that off my chest. Um, Leave your thoughts and leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. And let me know if you, like yourself, like, agree with, like, how the agenda, the swirling agenda is being pushed. And how, you know, it, it, and how not only swirling agenda, agenda is being pushed, but the fetish swirling agenda is being pushed. Anyhow, man, that's all I got for now, man. Leave your thoughts. Fool is signing out. Enjoy.